and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are gonna tell you about an award-winning program um, that has been honored by our Citizens Unity Commission at Calvary Community Church. My guests are Nicole Bailey and Leslie McClendon. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much Robin for having for us. Having us, we're excited to be here. And, you know, I think we recognize that our our faith partners and our faith community in the city is doing a lot of good work. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times we think of that as social service work or mm -hmm. you know food pantry kinds of things. Mm -hmm. You guys did a unique program um, this year that that draw, drew the attention. Tell us about mm -hmm. that. We actually hosted a community forum at our church. It's known as C3, it's a little bit easier to say. And we had a star from the OWN TV series, Greenleaf, his name is Lamont Rucker. So he was our featured guest and he along with our co-pastor, Dr. Natalie Francisco, they hosted a forum where we invited the community, we invited some practitioners from the community, Genesis Counseling Center therapists, we invited some counselors and psychologists from uh, private practices in the Northern Virginia area. And we also invited our director of outreach mm -hmm. and our youth pastor, and just a couple of voices that could speak to some of the issues that are often considered taboo in the church. Such as, because I think this is really mm -hmm. um, a, a fascinating discussion. Mm -hmm. Yes, we talked about issues related to domestic violence, mm -hmm. um, molestation. Um, we talked about um, diversity in the church. Um, with respect to uh, racial diversity, diversity and socioeconomic status, um, and, and, and a lot of other things. Leslie, do you wanna share some mm -hmm. of the things we talked about as well? Uh, gender diversity as well. Uh, we talked about sexuality, and we also talked about the importance of family uh, dynamics and communication, uh, because a, a lot of times there's some discrepancies that go on, specifically in reference to when we were talking about um, domestic violence and molestation, a lot of families have the don't say anything, the secrecy policy. And yes. so we really wanted to encourage open communication and open dialogue and having a space where you can actually talk about pressing issues without feeling judged. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Those are it not is. easy issues to bring up. That's and right. you know, a lot of churches want to be a place of affirmation and faith only. Right. They don't mm -hmm. want to right. get into mm -hmm. that. I mm -hmm. mean, is that why it's kind of taboo? Yes, I think that's exactly why it's taboo. But these are real issues mm -hmm. and, and we believe that we are a real beacon of light in our community of Hampton Roads. Right. And in order to be that beacon of light, you have to make sure that you address those issues, mm -hmm. not just gloss over them. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to bring the experts because a lot of times, sometimes faith communities feel like they have to provide all of the they answers. They have to be the answers right. and the experts. Right, and we are not the experts. There are experts that are in the community that are already doing this great work. So we invited them with us. Um, they partnered with us, they brought excellent resources mm -hmm. that we passed out to people who came. We had an excellent attendance from the community and we were really able to talk about the issues that we just shared about and then we were able to raise some questions from the floor. Mm -hmm. And so we had some people that brought up issues in their family. What do you do when you recognize that this is going on, whether you're in a church or whether you're in an office setting, wherever you are, what do you do? And so we talked about some of the hotlines that are available. We even covered the topic of suicide. Right. So there are so many things that families and people are dealing with today. And there are organizations and people that are here, even in the Hampton Roads community, that are able to partner with them and help them walk mm -hmm. along this journey called life. But I think a lot of people don't know about those organizations, don't know who to go to, don't know who to talk to, and especially mm -hmm if it's a, a, a family legacy that's been passed down, and certainly domestic abuse tends to be, mm -hmm. um, because you begin to accept it and see it as normal and it, you know, and it passes along. Mm -hmm. they, it, bringing that into the church, into a place people already are, into a place where people feel safe, safe and right. comfortable. Right. Um, makes a big difference, right? It does. It makes a huge difference. And we essentially are a place of love and acceptance to all people. Right. And that essentially promotes diversity right there. Because a lot of times you feel like diversity is just what you see on the outside. 
But we're all diverse on the inside. We have diverse viewpoints, diverse perspectives, diverse thoughts. So just sitting right here, I alone, I am diversity, you know? And so we want to make sure that people understand that, that you are diverse and you should not be ostracized because of something that you're experiencing, because of something that runs in your family line or in your family legacy, but that we are here as a beacon of light to walk alongside with you in this journey and to point you to the resources that are in the Hampton Roads community and sometimes that lie within you. You know, you have the strength within you to actually be able to speak up and to get out of some of these circumstances as well. Yeah, and I think, you know, but but people need to know they're supportive or need to know how right. to speak up or need to know to whom to yes. speak up. Mm -hmm. And so the education component, the support component is huge. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, now tell us um, uh, just a little bit about the history of your church. Okay. So our church started in the 60s, the 1960s, and was birthed out of a Sunday school movement in downtown Newport News um, in a building off of Wickham Avenue. And our grandfather, actually, mm -hmm. Leslie and I are both sisters, our grandfather, Leslie W. Francisco II, actually started the church. So you're named after your grandfather. I am. That's, I am. that's yep. great. So she's Leslie Francisco McClendon. I'm Nicole Francisco Bailey. And we are actually the third generation to carry on the legacy mm -hmm. of the church. So in the 60s, he and my grandmother um, really pioneered the legacy. And then our parents took over in the 80s, um, before the early 90s. And then now we're in another succession plan, yeah. transition plan, with the third generation actually coming in and just attracting the next generation of persons to the mm -hmm. beacon of light that we are in the community. So Generation Z, millennials, yep. letting them know that there is a place to plug in where you can find support, you can find family. Mm -hmm. And we like to say that our history is based on a legacy of family. And we focus on that at Well, C3. clearly, legacy yep. of family, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I love to say, too, that we're multi-generational. So even though we're, we're younger and we're focusing on Generation Z and Millennials, we also don't mm -hmm. forget about our foundation or the former generations as well. So we see ourselves as bridging the gap between generations. That's right. You know, one of the concerns these days is that a lot of churches mm -hmm. are graying mm. <laughs> and not having future generations or not having the financial support or, you know, it, it is a hard thing mm -hmm. to sustain that. Is, mm -hmm. is your movement from calling yourself Calvary Community Church to C3, how is that part of your change to stay relevant. Yes, that's a huge part of our change to stay relevant. In about 2010, we sensed that exact same shift um, that you were just sharing about. Um, and we transitioned to C3, the place, the place to, place to, to be. be. And so <laughs> that's what we're known as. Um, we don't want to just be known as a church. We don't want to be typecast. We don't right. want to just feel like we're just a place where you come to get a message and you're just preached to and that's mm. it. No, we're a place of fellowship. We're a place of education. Right. We're a place of empowerment and resourcing. And we're a place of community service. Mm -hmm. I mean, we really believe that those are all pillars upon which our church is built and our legacy continues. And so with that, we think C3, the transition to that name was just the beginning, mm -hmm. but it didn't just stop with a name. It included a rebranding of everything. So our mission, it used to be this long paragraph of what we want to do in the community. Right. Now it's very simple. We exist to build community, restore hope, and transform lives. That's what we're all about. Mm -hmm. And our vision was repackaged. Now we call ourselves the best church on the peninsula where we focus on love, learn, serve, and grow, those verbs. And so with that, we have tons of community programs and we're just working on uh, even our platform. We don't wanna be a church where you just come, you sit down and then you leave really fed, but you don't make a difference. So we even have streaming. So we stream right. to you in your bedroom. I mean, you can be a part of our virtual family. You don't have to be on campus because church is changing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very different. And even shortening the name, we felt like going from Calvary Community Church to C3, that actually provided a space for people to ask questions to say, what is that? What is yeah. that? Is it a church? Is it a community center? Right. And it's really a tool for us to be able to let other people know the exact resources and things that we provide, as Nicole said, as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And um, you're located where? At 2311 Tower Place, um, right across from Peninsula Town Center in Hampton, Virginia. And if people want to know more mm -hmm. about your programs, um, there's, you have a website, I assume. Yes. We do. www.c3hampton.org. 
Okay, and folks can go learn more, get involved if they choose to, or, you know, your forum, are you going to repeat that, um, that forum, are you going to keep that discussion alive? Yes, Absolutely. we're definitely keeping that discussion alive. We're partnering with different businesses in the community. So if there are businesses or other nonprofits that have resources or they have other platforms that they like to share with the community, we're very interested in receiving information from them as well. So we have a director of outreach, Lauren, uh, and her website, excuse me, c3hampton.org is our website, and her email can be found on the website, and they can contact her directly. Mm -hmm. But we have life groups, we have community service events where we partner with um, American Red Cross, CHKD, yep. Transitions Family Violence Services, tons of uh, programs that are actually within the Hampton Roads community that we partner with. So we're really excited to be able to offer the programming that we do have. And okay. And if there's a forum, it is open to the community. Oh, it's, yeah. it's not just for it's church members. No closed yeah. sessions you reach, whatsoever. Anybody can go. That's right. And, and you can follow us on Facebook. Or... We have so many events mm -hmm. that we roll out every single week. Some are community forums. Yep. Sometimes we invite the Hampton Police Department mm -hmm. and they come in to talk about um, violence or other things that transpire within the community of Hampton and how just to build a better community. So we are always big proponents of increasing uh, the love and the right. unity in the city of Hampton. And so with that, follow us on Facebook. Uh, we do have um, also an Instagram account. And at then, C3 Hampton. Yes, at C3 Hampton. And then that way, in addition to our website, we always have our upcoming events listed up there. And mm. you can actually register online. You can. So if you want to, just sign up online or you can just show up. You don't even have to pre-register because you're always welcome at okay. C3. Well, thank you both so much. I think I think this idea of community is where that is the middle ground where we all right. meet. The yes. nonprofits, the faith community, the mm -hmm. city government, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. the citizens, we all have to work together. Whatever yeah. our beliefs, whatever our philosophies, right. community is the core. That's right. And um, and building a better, safer, more stable, more healthy community mm -hmm. is important to all of us. That's right. So, yeah. thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming. Absolutely, <laughs> anytime. And thank you for watching. I hope you've learned a lot about different ways to talk about tough subjects and to be involved in the community and whatever your faith is, to use that as a resource to reach others in the community and partner. Thanks for watching.